check one, two, check one, two. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Charles Morkel Stadium. We have Super League A rugby again for you this afternoon. Cool afternoon, no rain expected, perfect weather for rugby. Fields holding up, two teams that's having a full go at each other this afternoon. Where Tigerberg is coming, trying to, to take points here in the Halderberg and in the Strand area. And Halderberg is trying to come off a loss last week against Hamilton's and trying to rectify things and get back to winning ways. It's going to be one proper afternoon of rugby. There's a few changes I want to go through. I'm going to run through the Tigerberg team. We have number one at Lucid Prop, Leland Hudsonberg. Number two, Talise Dick. Number three at Tighted Prop, Muhammad Maka. Second row, number four, we have Keegan May. And number five, we have Marvin France. The, sw the swap on the loose forwards will be number seven, will be Michele Kaba. Number six, open side flanker, will be Ricardo Cornelius. Number eight, Lorenzo Benjamin. Scrum off for Tiger Book would be Chad Gershwin. Flav would be Ashton Hendricks. Number 11, wing Ryan van, van Ster. Inside center, Grenzel Zeg Zansen. Outside center will be Daniel Roberts. He's also the captain. The right wing will be Jihad Nurdin and fullback Emilio Donis. On the reserve bench, number 16 will be Swenga Ngolombane. And then a change on the jerseys would be number 17 would be Reikard Valla. And number 18 would be Graham Roo. Number 19 would then be Kino Tienison. Number 20, Ashton Hendricks. Number 21... Just the scrum off would be, let's just make sure that we get the names right here. Number 21 would be Angus Green. Number 22, Mikhail Vrachum. And number 23, Tyrik Johannes. Those are the changes, slight changes in jerseys more than anything. A few late withdrawals, but um, that will be the gist of the Tigerberg team. We will put the Halderberg team up for you now and go through that, but Halderberg doesn't have many disruptions. A few rotational changes where we have number one, Dejan Krieger. Dani Maybach will start at number two, Ru Nivo at number three. The two lock pairings will be JD Labushakni, Carl Bender, number six, Naim Janssen, number seven would be Matthew Cody. The captain, number eight, Conway Pretorius, will be starting there, trying to make amends for last week. The vice captain will be Michael Fisser starting at Scrum Off. Half back, uh, number ten will be Darren Hendricks, he's starting at number ten. The two wingers will be Ovain Engelbrecht. Jody Cole, two wingers with some proper speed and trying to get back to form. Number 12 would be Quinn Fisser. Number 13, Luke Hertz. And number 15, Jean-Dre Lucas. The bench for the Halderberg will be Jurgen Dorfling. Number 16, 17, Tristan Lech. 18, Edwin Makudinyani. 19, Shane Kennedy. 20, Skalkberger. 21, Bucky Carstens. 22, Darren Hendricks. And number 23, Kewen Bowman. Number 20, Skalkberger. Please, that's not the Skalkberger we all know from uh, the ex Western Province and Springbok player. But we have our smaller version of Skalkberger playing for Halderberg. Welcome again, everybody. We're very excited. Today, I will be your host. I'll be your commentator today. We'll be mixing it up with a lot of Afrikaans and English. Just to cater for most people listening. But again, wonderful afternoon here in the Strand, in Halderberg. I have to say as well that um, in these Super League A games we always have the talent or the showcase of talent not just on the field as players but we have a showcase of a referee that will be refereeing this game today between Tigerberg and Halderberg and he's AJ Jacobs also on the SA Rugby panel not just SA Rugby panel but also on the World 7 circuit and that's the amazing thing about club rugby we're not just bringing club rugby and the uh, the homegrown talent to you week in and week out but we're also bringing you officials that has refereed at the highest level and still refereeing at the highest level and it just shows the importance of these these leagues the importance of getting the right kind of mix of officials and players and showcasing not just rugby but all the talent we have here today so AJ Jacobs will be our referee today very excited because it will be his first Western Province match his first club rugby match in Cape Town after moving down from Welcome. So 
Very excited for him. He just come off a match where he refereed the Paul Roos versus the Oakdale match. So he doesn't need to warm up. He's just going to go right into it. And he's going to have to know how to manage these guys. Both teams looking fired up. Both teams looking to get some points, getting back to winning ways. Tigerberg trying to get their campaign back on the road with a win here today. Alderberg trying to stay in the top four after a loss last week against Hamilton. Very excited. So they can say that they have Engels and Afrikaans praat here today. And they will have a bit of Albe bring. So they can say that they have a bit of here today. They will return to a win after they have lost for last week. Tegen Hamilton in de soort tegenberg, wat een beetje van een op en af seizoen gaat het zover, en het zal een groot slag weer spelen om een punt te verdienen vandaag bij Aldeberg. Bij je opgewonden vandaag, die weer is fantastisch, het is perfecte rugby weer hier vandaag in die Aldeberg. Ook zit voor die scheidsrechter Aje Jacobs wat afgetrekken van die welkom af en daar die die land van die purple people hier is. En dit is die eerste WPA Liga game, Super Liga A game wat hy nou vandag hier sal blaas. Ons wens vir hom alle voorspoed. En ons sien uit na een geweldige, geweldige rugby wedstrijd vandag. We got Tigerberg running out today. They will be playing from right to left. Loads of confidence, a few adjustments in the team. All the teams in the Super League A know that the depth of your team get tested. Making sure you have enough players to last you the whole season. And today, Tigerberg, especially just before kickoff, had to adjust a few numbers and a few players. Season gets long. And we're getting to the business end of the season with about five games left before the playoffs. Tigerberg looking eager. We are patiently waiting the Halderberg team to run onto the field. Seems like Halderberg is ready. Conway, the captain, will be playing in number 26 jersey today. Leading his team out. Home match for Halderberg. Halderberg would be looking for a very good start today. Last week, I think the match against Hamilton is where they lost in the first 25 minutes. Just didn't have a good start last week. They know where they went wrong, so they're trying to fix it this week. They'll be kicking off from left to right. Tigerberg will be receiving. So number 10 today for Halderberg will be JJ and not Darren. So there's a switch on that from the starting lineup. And here we have our referee AJ Jacobs looking lean and mean. Representing not just Western Province, but SA Rugby as well, and World Rugby. We want to welcome AJ to the Halderberg for his very first Super League A game. Wish him everything of the best. And here we await the start and the kickoff. JJ to kick off. Good take by Tigerberg in there, 22, trying to secure the ball. Trying to have a good exit. Excellent carry. Forwards taking it up. Setting up another phase in the 22 just to give a better angle for the fly off. Ashton Hendricks. Who then with his left foot puts it down. Only till the 22. So it's a good territory gain by Halderberg. They'll be happy with that. First line out of the match. Let's see what Halderberg comes up with. Hello. Daniel on the number two. 
Number two hooker today. Into Bender, good take. Fisser. Down to the midfield, good carry. Good carry by Halderberg. Fisser again. Set up in the midfield. Down to the back line. JJ to Quinn. Down to the wing, Uvain. Uvain is sitting through, and through we go. First try of the first move by Halderberg. Fantastic start. Couldn't have asked for a better start of the kickoff. Unbelievable start, actually. Like I said last week, Halderberg didn't have a good start and they wanted to make amends. And here today, in the first, from the kickoff, first phase of the game, we have Halderberg going over for the first five points. Jandre Lucas, I'm in a three. Fantastic bewegung in the achterlijn. Net simple Anne. Weer eens, hoe veel om enige skipasse te gooi nie. En die Halderberg weis dat net met simpel hande en simpel rugby kan punte aangeteken word. Visse vir die extra 2 punte. En dis goed en die Halderberg is op met 7 punte ten oor 0 ten Tijgerberg. Ons het 2 minute in die wedstrijd. En die Halderberg weis al klaar dat het gaan nie net een makkelijke Het gaan nie makkelijk wees hier saf vir Tijgerberg om hier te kom om punte te haal. Ons het vir Ashton Hendrix wat nou weer die game die wedstrijd gaan vir ons begin. Kijk of Helderberg die bal kan vat. Goeie vat. Goeie vat van JD. Visser staan achter weer na sy kaptein toe en die kaptein drijf hom op. En dis a Dis a penalty aan die Halderberg Dit lyk asof Tijgerberg net van hulle voet af gekom het So dit gaan a makkelijke exit wees hier vir die Halderberg En dan sal die bal weer net uitbilskop Van die eerste eerste lijn staan net goed gegaan Ons hoef vir Michael Visser wat hier na die kant in te skop Hier staan die hoofdpal vir Joonkant Dis a goeie skop En Tijgerberg is op die achtervoet Ons het by Halderberg wat een lijn staan het, net so 5 meter van Tijgerberg sy 22 af. Dit is een vinnige begin. Ons sal weer vir Dani Meijberg hier kry wat in die lijn staan ingaat gooi. Hy sal weer net die bal wil, wil sê keer en dit is Bende wat weer die bal vat. Hulle sit die drijf op. Dit is een goeie set. Gaan nergens op die oomlikkie. Wegbreek van Dani. Die nummer 2 van Helderberg, goeie steel van Tijgerberg, maar dis die tackle wat die wegrol he. En dis goed vinnig gevat, die Michael Visser af in die achterlijn. Jean-André Lucas, en hy is dier en is nog een drie vir die Helderberg in die hoek, die Jean-André Lucas. Flink gedink hier, sê die Michael Visser om die penalty vinnig te vat. Die Helderberg wat weer wees dat hulle gaan nie weer so starig begin het soos verlede week he. Tijgerberg is een beetje geskok, het lijkt as of hulle geskok is, soos hulle staan onder die paal, maar hulle sal definitief dinge gauw moet regerik, om hulle self terug in die game te kry. Blitsige begin by Helderberg. Dit is een thuiswedstrijd vir hulle, so hulle wil wees, hoekom dat hulle so hoog op die liga lee, en hoog op die tafel lee, nadat hulle promoted was van die Superliga B, Wees Helderberg weer eens Dat is net hier om in die liga te blij nie Maar hulle is hier om rarig te beklui Vir hy eerste vier plekke wat beskikbaar is Of die eerste zes plekke beskikbaar is Vir hy Vir die Vir die 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 Eindstrede wat ons gaan het vir die liga Dit is Michael Visser wat palen te skop En die keer kry nie die extra 2 punte nie Helderberg 12-0 voor En is het 5 minuut in die wedstrijd gespeel Tijgerberg sal drasties iets moet doen met aan die wedstrijd te kom. Aja Jacobs wat weer vir die nummer 10 sê dat dit was net die tackle wat die weggerol het. Dit is ook om die strafskop daar gekom het. Tijgerberg to kick off. 
good high kickoff. Alderberg, JD up again. That's a knock on. Looks like it's yeah, just a little bit of a handling error. We're gonna have the first scrum of the game, and it's always excited. Always exciting to see two packs go at each other. Sometimes we wait very long in a match to actually see the first round of the game, but here we have one six minutes into the game. And let's see what these two packs are all about today. The front row of Tigerberg, Hartenberg, Dick, and Maker looking to get a good set going. Alderberg trying to also dominate from the from the hit. Tigerberg to put in. Very messy scrum. But it looks like it's a penalty for Tigerberg for walking around by Halderberg. Halderberg trying to make it very disruptive. But AJ Jacobs deciding that it was all illegal. Good signs for Tigerberg though. Brings them back into the game. Gives them opportunity to go deep into the Halderberg 22. Give themselves an opportunity to get back into this game. And not just by three points by going for the pulse, but actually trying to go for the seven, the full seven. Excellent kick. That's a fantastic kick by Tigerberg, number 15. Emilio Donas with his left foot. And he's given Tigerberg a fantastic opportunity. Talisan Dick here coming as the hooker for Tigerberg, trying to find his jumpers. Six meters from the Halderberg line. Stolen by Halderberg. Can they exit? Puts up a more. Tigerberg will feel that that was the opportunity. Michael Fisser clearing the ball. Looks like it's an up and under. Excellent take by the number nine. Chad Gershwin of Tigerberg setting up a good opportunity again on the 10 meter line and inside the Halderberg area. We've got a penalty advantage. Halderberg offside. Again, Tigerberg has got another opportunity to drive Halderberg back into their 22. They just need to win the lineout. It, it can become problematic if they do not win their lineouts. Giving themselves great opportunity, but they need to win the lineout. Emilio Donas with the left foot trying to just get them deep in the 22. Touch finder just outside the 22. Not the best kick, but he's found touch. Tigerberg with a line out just outside Halderberg's 22. Dick to throw in. Excellent take by Tigerberg. But not straight. Again, Tigerberg not using the opportunity and Halderberg getting away with another opportunity to clear their lines. Scrum to Halderberg just outside their 22 on the 15 meter line. Tigerberg will be kicking themselves. Two excellent opportunities to get back into the game and they're giving Halderberg an easy exit. Again, first scrum was messy. Let's see what they do now with Halderberg to put in the ball at the scrum. Michael Fisser to feed. Very messy. I think that's going to be a reset. Both front rows or both backs trying to give a full go. It's just not stable enough. AJ is, is a, one of those referees that's very good at setting up the scrum. I think because it's a second scrum, he will definitely have a talk to the front rows to get stability going. It's a phase of the game that we really need to, to get less resets. But we need the teams to to buy into setting it up properly. Let's see if we can get a clean ball in and ball out for Halderberg here. Go. They would like a good exit. Five. Six. This time a better set. Michael Fisser to put the ball in. Scram goes down. But the ball is available to Quinn Fisser, who sets it up in the midfield. Michael Fisser to his forwards to Danny Maiber. Good carry, but an excellent tackle by the Tiger Book forwards down the back line. 
Bit of a loose pass because Jandre Lucas setting it up in the 22. Looking to clear their lines by Halderberg. Set up again by the forwards. Setting up a pod, trying to get an angle to get the clearance out to an exit. Blindside. Outside. Another pod onto the inside. This time they're just outside the 22. Can't kick it out directly, so they'll have to play it again. Naim. Good powerful run by Naim. Sets it up just out of the 22. Michael Fisser pumps it down to the right hand corner. The ball is bouncing. It's not out yet. Tigerberg winger puts it up. They're in trouble. Somebody needs to clear their lines. This time, tackle made just outside the Tigerberg 22. Tac tackle made. Quick tap. Penalty for Holderberg. Quick tap by Michael Fisser. Down to JJ Stover. Sets it up five meters from Tigerberg's line. Need to secure the ball. Michael Fisser playing it up to Rue. Forward setting it up. Alderberg again close to the line. Quinn Fisser sets it up again. This time back to Bender. Bender down the back line. Down to Stover. Down to Uvain. Down the back line again. Here we got the captain setting it up. Tie time by Alderberg. Uvain under the poles. Alderberg taking advantage of a loose ball and loose play by Tigerberg. Not clearing their lines. A turnover ball from the winger after Michael Fisser kicked it through. Should have cleared their lines. They got tackled and a turnover was made. It now leaves them with a try under their poles. Daniel Roberts, the captain of Tiger, but questioning AJ Jacobs. Not sure what the decision was, but AJ just making it clear to him on what his decision was on the penalty. Try stands. Michael Fisser to add the extra two. Excellent start by Halderberg. 17-0 right now. And will be 19-0 after that conversion goes through. 13 and a half minutes about played in this match and Halderberg showing their dominance in the first 20 minutes. Tigerberg again have to get themselves back into this game. Change made by Tigerberg. Ashton Hendricks just got a bit of a bloody nose. So he's coming off the field to get fixed up. We've got Vrahum that comes on for Tigerberg in the 10 position. Restart of the match. Kick in the middle of the field. Naim plays it down. Down the back line. Good set up on the left hand side of the field. Tigerberg offside. Penalty to Halderberg. That's just, just one of those where it's the ball looks like it's available at the breakdown. It's so tempting. And it happens to a lot of teams. Unfortunately, it is offside then. Alderberg driving themselves into the Tigerberg half now, just past the 10 meter line. Line out set up. Trying to take advantage of another opportunity of getting into the Tigerberg half. AJ Jacobs with time off. I think there's a bit of a head and neck injury at the Tigerberg. One of the Tigerberg players that he just wants to deal with and get some medics onto the field. And while we have this break, it's again, it's one of those matches where we have about 16 minutes into it. And it's been all Halderberg at the moment, leading 19 points to nil. 
taken advantage of all the opportunities they've had getting into the Helderberg half. Tigerberg has had opportunity. They have been in the Helderberg 22, but unforced errors has cost them. And they've come away with zero points when they've had that attacking opportunity. Match restarts. Line out to Halderberg. Excellent take by Bender. Ball set up. Good ground made. Ball still going. Tigerberg struggling to put a stop to the mall. They're now under 22. Halderberg showing grit, showing grind, and showing good patience. Own player. That's your own player going down. Mall down, but it looks like it's Halderberg's own players that brings the mall down. Set up by number seven by Hadeberg Gordy. Conway, the captain, setting it up again. Another phase on the 22 of, Hald of Tigerberg. Oh, good. First man in, all the right. Looks like it's a turnover. Turnover made by Tigerberg. Excellent turnover. We've got a box kick by the number nine of Tigerberg. Gershwin, and then it's Jandre Lucas that brings it back into the Tigerberg half. Excellent run into the, 20 into the half of, of Tigerberg. Luke, the outside center, sets it up. JJ, Stover, Tiger, we're bringing it back. Good breakdown. Forwards of Tigerberg setting it up in the midfield. Trying to get a good exit. They're still in their own half on the 10 meter line. Penalty to Tigerberg. Alderberg, tackler, not rolling away. Quick tap. We've got Gershwin, quick, quick tap, the number nine of Tigerberg. Again, not 10 meters by Halderberg. Tigerberg will be very happy with that, getting themselves back onto the halfway line after being under huge pressure by Halderberg. Little bit of a pause in play, but nothing we can't deal with. Just trying to get everybody on the sidelines to calm down a little bit. Uh, as we'll see, Cameron Africa and the AR is coming to AJ. I think there's just been a little bit of a commotion next to the field that they just want to sort out before we continue. Not sure what's going on exactly, but I'm sure that the officials will sort it out. I think it's the overexcitement of the fans that is getting the better of themselves. I think we should leave the boys on the field to deal with that and everybody else should just enjoy themselves. Whatever you're enjoying yourself with next to the field, do not bring it onto the field. I think it's just they're dealing with that and it's uh, we have very experienced officials to make it clear what the laws are about coming onto the field and also no abuse to our officials as well from the sideline. And we're talking about both sides, from the Halderberg side and from the Tigerberg side. We just want to see good rugby. We just want to see the boys express themselves on the field and showcase their talents. I'm sure we'll get back to playing ways very soon.
So the, the commotion next to the field is that we need certain fans just to leave the location before we can continue. Don't worry. We will be sorting that out. We will be, get, we will be getting back to the rugby very soon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an excellent game so far. And it, we, we hate to see it being spoiled by, by fans that's just too passionate. By fans that just wants to express themselves too much. But the referee has, has, has drawn the line and has asked certain, certain spectators to leave the venue before we can continue. So we're just waiting on that and we'll get back to the rugby as soon as we can. Seems like we're back to the rugby. Penalty to Tigerberg on the halfway line. Looking to drive themselves back into the Halderberg area. That's an excellent kick. Excellent kick by Tigerberg. Drive themselves onto the Halderberg 22. Okay, Emilio Adenas with a left foot. Finding a good angle. Again, we just got to find now the line out for, Halder for Tigerberg just to get a, a good setup and good opportunity to, to create or to score points. Excellent take. But stolen by Halderberg. And here we go, Bender. Bender right through. Bender passes the ball, but it's intercepted by the winger of Tigerberg. Ryan Van Ster, excellent interception. Turns the ball over. Tigerberg, midfield, sets it up with the forwards. Looking to exit. They're just outside the 22. Are they going to run it from here? Adonis, excellent left foot again. But that looks like it's going straight into touch. And that will be a line out to Halderberg inside the Tigerberg 22. Ball was carried back into the 22. Another unforced error by Tigerberg. Daniel Roberts with the left foot just overcooking that kick. After it was carried back into the 22, captain puts his hand up to acknowledge it was his mistake. And that's fine. We all make mistakes. Now to rectify it. Halderberg on the attack on Tiger Box 22. Knock on. Not straight in the line out. There'll be a scrum to Tigerberg on their 22. Looking to exit, clear their lines. Also trying to get this momentum back into this game after that slight stoppage we've had. All sorted now though. Officials handling themselves really well. 
Laying down the law. Let's get back to the rugby. Scrum to Tigerberg. Good set. Tigerberg in the midfield. Setting it up for an exit just outside the 22. Down the back line. Clearance by Hendricks. Knock on by Jody Cool, and we'll have a scrum. Unforced error by Halderberg's Jody. Knocks the ball on inside his own half, and we have a scrum between the 10 meter and the halfway line. Tigerberg on the attack. I must say, so far, it's a fantastic event. It was a bit of a break card, not only for the actors who are here along the front line, but also for the rugby. The Stijgerberg, what on the attack is, is not only for the Alderberg half. Weer eens, die scrum is een beetje, is net uh, die voorrijden wat net een beetje sukkel om hulle voeten onder hulle lichaam te kry. En die scrum wat die altijd val. Ah ja, Jacobs het sy beste probeer net om die beste resultaat te kry, zodat so hij die bal in en uit kan kry, maar het lijkt alsof die voorrijden mekaar wil aanvat een beetje vandag. Chad Gershon wat wacht om die bal in te sit in die scrum, so dat Tegenberg hulle self op die aanval kan sit weer eens. As my net een skoon skram kan kry. Die voorheer van Tegenberg gaan definitief weer terugstaan vir die Halderberg voorheer nie. Hatsenberg wat op die op die nummer 1 sak op vandag. So ver doen hy doen hy baie goed, is al klaar die beste gekry van sy Haldeberg opponent in die vorige skram Vreeskop aan Tegerberg vinnig gevat Tegerberg aan die aanval kom weer binnenveld toe en is weer die voorhe wat opvat Tegerberg op die aanval kom by die achterlijn af na die voorhe toe Tegenberg aan die aanval, skop hier dier, weer, nog een skop hier dier, Helderberg wat Isa probeer verdedig in hulle 22, Jody Koel wat een goeie bal steel daar so in die bal oppik, maar is Tegenberg aan die aanval, en is lek so Tegenberg na, wees 5 meter van die Helderberg, van die Helderberg doelijn af, Tegenberg, draai die bal om, JJ Stobe wat die bal hier afskop, en die bal hop hier uit, Amper op die halve, op die middellijn, nog die uit die. Dan met 22 met Tegenberg wat dan weer opvat. Afbreekpunt, net die is aan die linkerkant van die veld. Tegenberg, aan die middelveld, vat hulle om op. Goeie verdediging met die Helderberg. Strafskop, nummer 2 van die Helderberg was onkant geweest. Af van sy voete af. Van die geneem, Tegenberg. Aan die aanval weer. Voorheer. Wat goeie handen wees en en goeie geduld wees is daar. Alweer, dit is weer voordeel. Helderberg van hulle voete af. Tegenberg aan die aanval op die 22 van die Helderberg. Nummer 1 van Tegenberg. Vat hom op in die 22 nou van die Helderberg. Nog een geleentheid aan Tegenberg om punte aan te teken. Ah ja, Jacobs wat sy vlekkie blaas. En dis Tegerberg wat nou weer een strafskop het in die middel van die veld. Ek dink jylle moet vir punte gaan hier nie. Ek dink Pale is drie punte, is goed genoeg om op die telboot te kom. Maar ek dink dat is alof rarig was sieve punte wil hee. Maar ek dink hylle... Hylle sal miskien nie drie punte vat net om op die telboot te kom. En het lyk so, ja, dit is Pale, hylle gaan Pale te skop. Ons het die kaptein Daniel Roberts wat Pale toe gaan skop. Goeie rekord met Pale toe skop.
Tegen Bergen op het Telboord. 19 punten, 10 voor 3. We hebben 20 minuten, 26 minuten voorbij. En dan is het Jaldoberg wat voorloopt in 19 punten, 10 voor 3. JJ Stover to restart the game for Haldeberg. Puts it nice and high. Excellent kickoff. Can Tiger Book secure? Yes, they can. Excellent breakthrough. Here goes Tiger Book. Right through the middle by Hendricks. Loose pass taken up by Haldeberg. Haldeberg back on the attack. After a turnover ball, here goes Uvain. Uvain down the line. Can he capitalize on a silly mistake by Tigerberg? Here goes Haldeberg again. Excellent pass. Fisser in the corner. Tied by Haldeberg. Wow, wow, wow. It was a back and forth turnover ball, turnover ball. And eventually Haldeberg taking advantage of another loose pass. After Tigerberg went through the middle by Ashton Hendricks, breaking the line himself and he sent the partner Jansen through the middle and just one loose pass and Haldeberg took advantage of that. Fantastic rugby. The score really doesn't do it justice. Tigerberg really had all the opportunity as well to be right in this match. Tigerberg would be kicking themselves again where we have Haldeberg taking advantage of all the opportunity and they are now leading 24-3 with the conversion to come. Conversion missed by Michael Fisser, so the score will stay 24-3 for now. 28 and a half minutes gone. Excellent game of rugby so far. Super League A at its best. Haldeberg sets it up. Excellent carry by the Haldeberg number seven. Fantastic carry, making loads of meters. Captain taking it up. Conway playing in number 26 today. Michael Fisser down the back line. JJ Stover down to Luke. Sets the ball up in the midfield. Excellent turnover by Tigerberg. That was fantastic. Alderberg looked like they were firing on all cylinders and here goes Tigerberg's number nine. Gershon chips the ball through after taking it quickly. Fisser takes, oh excellent carry by Fisser, brings it up over the 22. After covering well, this is Quinn Fisser. Now it's Michael Fisser, plays the ball down the back line. To Luke, Luke to attack. Here comes Alderberg, oh knock on by Uvain, two on one. What an opportunity for Haldeberg to break out of their own 22 and actually score points. Unfortunately, knock on by Ovain, the winger of Haldeberg. And we'll have a scrum for Haldeberg, for Tigerberg inside the Haldeberg half. This game has just heated up, ladies and gentlemen. This game has now picked up some pace. Both teams having a full go. 
Not many kicks happening, I can tell you that. Both teams looking to run it from their own half. And the opportunity and the spaces are there. Scrums have not been going well. Let's see if we can get another good clean scrum. Tigerberg on the attack. Chad Gershon really having a good game at number nine for Tigerberg. Creating loads of opportunity. Good set. Ball put in by Gershon. Tigerberg. Good scrum. Ball comes down the back line. Tigerberg sets it up in the middle. Down the back line it comes. Here we go. Overlap. Tigerberg comes down. Five meters from the Helderberg line. He gets taken down. And here we go, Tigerberg. This opportunity and Tigerberg goes in. Fantastic score. That has been probably the best move so far of the game. Tigerberg showing that they can run the ball. Set phase was set nicely from a scrum. First phase move. Setting the opportunity up out wide. Ashton Hendricks finishes it off. And Tigerberg is back on the scoreboard. 24 points to 8 with a conversion to come. Conversion is good. 24 points to 10. We're about seven and a half minutes away, maybe eight minutes away from half time. There was a stoppage in the game, so we might have more. But Tigerberg showing some impetus and showing that they can score points. Good kickoff by Halderberg. Tap back. Here goes Tigerberg's number seven. Kaba. Down to the winger. Excellent score. Here we go, Tigerberg. Excellent try. Wow. Two quick tries. Ryan van Ster from the kickoff. And all of a sudden, the momentum has changed. All of a sudden, Tigerberg is showing that they can score from anywhere. From the kickoff. And the fans has now gotten a voice. Halderberg has been caught off guard. Letting in two quick tries by Tigerberg. Fantastic. And they really needed that. Tigerberg really needed that to get back into this game because it looked like Halderberg was really setting the tone and Halderberg was really setting the pace of this game. And within two minutes, Tigerberg has brought themselves back into this game. They've liter literally shifted the momentum within two minutes. Kick to come. Roberts. Ah, it looks like it's going to be wide, so it will be 24 15. And Tigerberg will want to capitalize on this momentum. They have really picked up some momentum now. Nine points behind. That's Halderberg to kick off. Not the best of kickoffs by JJ Stover. Didn't go 10. There'll be a scrum on the halfway line. And yes, like we said, it's a clear momentum shift. Tigerberg has got a spring in their step right now as they go to the scrum on the halfway line. From the last scrum, they scored from the first phase. Or basically from the first phase. And I would want to do the same from this one. just very messy. Scrums are very messy today. Front rows are just 
shoulders below their hips. There's just a struggle to keep it up. Need to bring their feet a little bit more up underneath their body. Sacrifice trying to dominate the hit and actually just trying to get a set and a proper ball in and ball out. AJ communicating that well with the front rows that he can only do as much to set the scrum up, but the front rows need to do the rest and keep the scrum up. Tigerberg to feed. Gershon. Down the back line. Chipped through by Hendricks. Tickles into touch. Looks like it will be a Halderberg throw in. Halderberg will look to clear their lines now and just start to settle this game after the momentum has now turned a little bit against them looking to get a good exit just secure their line out secure the mall or the phase and just get out of their 22 line out on their 22 right now maybe overthrow ah oh, unfortunately a knock on by Tigerberg they would have smelled blood right there again after the Halderberg made a mistake, but then slight knock on by Tigerberg. Oh man, this is this. This game has now been on a knife edge in the last few minutes. Little stop start in the beginning. Little, like, just one way traffic, but gotta love this game. Gotta love how things can change within a minute or two. And all of a sudden, we have a game on our hands. Fisted to feed. It's a much better scrum. Ball comes out. Down the middle to Q and Fisser. To Quinn Fisser, sorry. Set up in the midfield. Michael Fisser down to the right hand corner. Good covering by Tigerberg. Play to the inside. Ryan van Ster making good grounds. Into the Halderberg half. That looks like it's going to be a turnover by Jody Cole. Jody Cole turns, o turns over the ball. Alderberg. Alderberg now got the ball. Up into the midfield. Front row takes it up. Good face set up. Michael Fisser. Tani Maiba. JJ. Kicks it down to the left hand side. Unfortunately, it goes long directly into touch. And Tigerberg will have another opportunity to go all the way back into the Alderberg half after kicking that ball directly into touch. A little bit of frustration creeping in with Alderberg after losing a bit of momentum. Need to keep it together. Tigerberg, on the other hand, feels that they've got another opportunity. They feel that this is the moment for them to get themselves even closer to that score deficit. It's nine points at the moment. But before halftime, they feel they can get themselves a little bit closer to Halderberg's score. If they can pull this one off, if they can get a good line out here and get some points on the board, they will go into this half a more confident team. Excellent line out. Tap back by Tigerberg into the midfield good setup Tigerberg in the midfield Alderberg offside penalty to Tigerberg in the middle of the field on the 10 meter line 
decision time for Tigerberg. Do they go for poles and go and get themselves onto 18 points and go into the break with six points behind? Or do they go for touch? Poles it is. They're going to try and attempt to get three points going into the half. If, we, if they get this, if, if Roberts can manage to get this ball over, they're definitely going into the half, the more confident team. Smelling blood, knowing and showing that they can take advantage of the opportunities. Slow start by Tigerberg, but they eventually took advantage of the opportunities. And they can bring themselves right back into it with this one. They really can bring themselves into the game and make things really hard for Halderberg in the second half. Roberts with three points. Looks like he missed it. JJ Stover kicks it down back into the Tigerberg half. Tigerberg brings it up. Michael Fisser, left foot down the touchline. Not the best kick, but it looks like we're going to go into the half right now. And that's half time. Roberts kicks the ball into touch. And we have half time, ladies and gentlemen. Halderberg 24 15 against Tigerberg. What an exhilarating first half. Basically, a game of or, or 40 minutes of momentum swing where Tigerberg started well. Uh, Halderberg started well, and then Tigerberg took away that momentum and then brought themselves back into the game. Look forward to the second half. Koos extern hier die hoofdagrisse van, van Helderberg. Koos, ek wil net vir jou vraag, met die momentum wat ons nou gehet het in die eerste helfte, en dan net die momentum geswing, wat is die plan vir die tweede helfte? Die tweede helfte is heel eenvoudig om balbesit te kan hou, ons moet die balbesit hou, slimmer speel, meer in shape en kom, um, ons moet nie dom besuit te maak, jylle gaan baie die bal nou skop, so ons moet nou mooi terugwerk, en daar vanaf net patience, 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 and hopefully we can score in the first 15 minutes, if we can score the first 15 minutes, dan geloof ek, dan sal die dan wel breek. En vir al met die reserves sal gaan opkom, hulle sal ook die momentum moet aanhou dan as hulle opkom. Precies, ja, so die squad, die, die energizers wat opkom, hulle moet die energie beginne gee, en dat is die uh, tempo kan lig en beginne jol. Dankie Koos, stek vir die tweede helfte.
Welcome back to the Charles Morkel. A game, or first half that we've had, both teams dominate certain parts of that half. Alderberg dominating the first few minutes, the first 22, 23 minutes, and then Tigerberg bringing themselves back into the game. 24-15, and Tigerberg would want to continue that momentum. They are about to kick off left to right here. Let's see which team can show dominance early in this half. Taken up by Halderberg. Trying to set up a good exit. Dani, number two of Halderberg, sets it up in the midfield. Quick tap by Michael Fisser. Sends it into the Tigerberg half. Chases it. Chip and chase. Excellent take by Naim. Unforced error. Wow, what a breakaway by Michael Fisser. First knock on would be. Looks like it was a Halderberg knock on at the end, but to break away from their own 22 and then end up five meters from the Tigerberg line. That's excellent. That's the kind of start they would have wanted. They would have wanted to score probably as first prize, but I think now they would want to keep Tigerberg in their own half. Another scrum that we just hoping to get a good set. Both teams keeping their shoulders above their waist. Tigerberg to feed. Definitely running around. Alderberg penalized for running around. And Tigerberg gets an easy exit. Sigh of relief for Tigerberg there after Alderberg almost scoring straight from the kickoff. And an excellent clearance. Driving Halderberg back. Good exit by Tigerberg. They'll have a line out. Just about on the 10 meter line. On their own 10 meter line. Talisson Dick. Stolen by Halderberg. Down the back line. Set up in the midfield by Gordy. Fisser. To the captain. Sets it up again. To JJ. Fisser. To Fisser. Good set up by the inside center. Quinn Fisser. Back on the inside to Bender. Bender sets it up. Good play by the forwards. Another face set up. Number two by Halderberg. Sets it up. Turnover ball by Tigerberg. Excellent. Fantastic turnover by Ricardo Cornelius. Showing as soon as he latches over that ball, there's no moving him. Robbers to clear the lines. Drives Tigerberg deep into the Halderberg half. Fantastic kick. About 10 meters outside the Halderberg 22 now. Tigerberg to put in. 
Not straight. Again, unforced errors. One of those again where you just want to kick yourself. Dagobah tried to be creative and tried to throw the ball flat in front, but unfortunately it wasn't straight. And we'll have a scrum to Halderberg just outside the 22, looking to clear their lines. From what we've seen from Halderberg, this is not the kind of spot on the field where they've actually tried to kick the ball down the field. They've actually tried to run it from here. We can only expect the same. Good set. Fissa to feed. Down the back line. Stover. Inside to a vein. Excellent. Into the half of Tigerberg. Does Alderberg go? Onto the inside to JJ Stover. Sets it up. Fissa. Inside to Naeem. To JD. Sets it up in the midfield. Alderberg. Building momentum. Again, Fissa to, to Dani into the midfield. Chippy through. Halderberg on the attack. Sets it up in the midfield again. Not rolling away. Penalty to Halderberg. This is where Halderberg probably wanted to just consolidate and try and get themselves down closer to the trial line of Tigerberg. They got an opportunity here. Tigerberg number 12, not rolling away. Granville Janssen. Good tackle, but just too slow to roll away. Michael Fisser drives Halderberg down, just about seven meters from Tigerberg's try line, looking to secure their ball. They have not had many opportunities since the first half to set up a first phase or a set phase to give themselves this opportunity so they would want to secure this ball and set up a good drive. Bender to take. Good set. Good more. Advantage. Penalty advantage for collapsing the more. Alderberg on the attack. Plays it short. Pick and go. Two minute two meters from the Tigerberg line, another penalty advantage. Tigerberg not rolling away. Can Halderberg take advantage? Fissa. Down the back line. Excellent. Try time and Halderberg goes over. Fantastic build up by Halderberg. One that showed patience. One that showed that they knew that the momentum was they had shifted, but they just needed to bide their time and create the opportunity to get the momentum back in their way so Halderberg score 29-15 early in the in the second half this is what they needed I think any team or both teams would have wanted to score first in the second half and here we have Halderberg just like they did in the first half scoring first 29-15 with a kick to come Michael Fisser, scrum off of Alderberg, looking to convert this. And Michael Fisser's had an excellent game as well. He's really taken charge of the back of the, not just the scrums, but the breakdowns as well. Himself and Chad Gershwin, looking to quick tap all the time. Conversion is good. Both scrum offs trying to speed up the game. The only way to build momentum is to keep the game going. 31-15. Alderberg showing a little bit of daylight again between the two teams. Let's see what Tigerberg has got. Ons het 49 minuten om te bij is en Tijgerberg wordt weer afscoop hier. Nadat hulle achter is nou 31-15. Tijgerberg wordt achterloop jammer en is Jalterberg. Goeie bal. Goeie bal gevat. 
Tegenberg wat die bal omdraai daar zo en hulle het nou geleentheid net buiten kan die Helderberg 22 en dis een strafskop aan Tegenberg Helderberg wat onkant is van een gevat Tegenberg aan die, aan die aanval aan die 22 van die Helderberg kan hulle van een bal kry ja hulle kry van een bal voor hy wat opvat goeie fase opgestel in die middel van die veld Gershon wat wacht vir sy Dat zijn voor is om net in die gang te komen. Dat is weer pick and go. De Alderberg wat, wat vast aan in op die verdediging is. Gershon wat weer voor hem show and go. Hij zat in die kant, maar dat is weer eens wat ach, tegenberg wat achter ik gaan in die Alderberg wat goede verdediging wees. Gershon wat zijn zijn slot te zeilen moet die bal opvat en net nabij hou. Weer eens opgevat. Tegenberg, nog steeds aan die aanval. Hulle hou het nabij. Fase na fase. Die Alderberg draai die bal om. Dit is fantastische werk. Visser, tegen die kant. Kom hier aan die blinde kant voorbij. Maar het lijkt alsof het voor uh, aanslaan is. Dier die Alderberg. So dit is Tegenberg wat die skram gaat. Die het binnen in die Alderbergse 22. Spel wat een beetje los raak, maar ik denk dat het pas Tegenberg meer als Helderberg. Die Helderberg wat de spanners wat alle lijken om net alle facetten bij elkaar te zetten, alle lijken een beetje structuur. En Tegenberg, zodra die game een beetje los raak, alle lijken alles zoals die mannen wat een beetje beheer kan vat. Een paar veranderingen hier aan die Helderbergse kant. JJ Stoven wat een goede game gehad op die, op die nummer 10 tref van Helderberg. Die kaptein wat ook afkom, Conway. Een beetje vars weer nou opkom. Tegenberg aan die aanval. Goeie skram. Weer die achterlijn voorbij. Dit lijkt alsof hulle deeg gaan breek en dit is een fantastische drie die Tegenberg van die eerste fase af. Tariq Johannes wat een beetje spoed wees hier aan die buitenkant en aan die buitenkant van die Jaldeberg verdediging omkom en weer eens kom het van die eerste facet af. Het kom van die skram af wat hulle gewees het in die eerste helft dat as hulle net die bal uit die skram het kry kan hulle van de aanteken van eerste fase af. Dit is fantastische drie. Wel gedaan aan die Helderbergse voorheer en, en, die, en die vaste vijf wat hy skram opgehou het en die bal beskikbaar gemaakt het vir die achterlijn om die drie te druk. Fantastisch. Fantastisch. 31-20 aan die Helderberg. Robbers met die extra 2 punten, soos 31-22 en het lijkt net soos die momentum nie ophou swaai in hierdie wedstrijd nie weer eens wees tegenberg dat as hulle kans gaan kry, gaan hulle, het, gaat hulle 7 punten kry en die Haldeberg sal rarig hulle sokjes moet optrek op verdediging hulle is goed op die aanval, hulle teken die punten aan maar het lijkt elke keer as tegenberg aan hulle helft te kom, kry tegenberg punten Afskop die Helderberg. Michael Visser ontvang die bal in die rechterkant van die veld. Speel hem binnenkant toe na Darren toe. Na Oveen. Oveen wil hem opbring van die middel af. Uitstekende verdediging die Tegerberg en hulle draai die bal om. En alweer die momentum wat kom en hier sit hulle die bal oor aan die rechterkant. 
Goeie verdediging nie, Helderberg. Michael Visser wat uiteindelik een bykie blaaske aan sy geel hier vir Helderberg, wat die bal uitskop. Nadat het een jen en weer geskop ruif was en die bal wat nie uitgegaan het die. Tigerburg wat definitief wees, die tiere. Hulle raak stemmig. En hulle het die momentum op die oomlik. Belangrike lijn staan vir vir Tijgerberg net by tik aan die 22 van die Helderberg nou. Moet besit wen, Isa. Moet besit wen. Uitsteken. En hulle wen nie besit. En hulle gaan dier die middel. Goeie fase. Binnen die 22 van die Helderberg. Hier kom die Helderberg nou. Met alles wat hulle het. Swak. Swak aangee, Isa. Maar hulle is in die middel van die veld. En dan niks soos een aanslaan is dier Tijgerberg. En een goeie verdediging dier Helderberg. Wat hulle goeie lengsvoet gewees het. En vir Tijgerberg bykie onder pressie gesit het en die aanslaan kom toe in die middelveld Tijgerberg geweet, dit was ook een kans daar gewees dit was net een los aangeer gewees, hier staan in die begin van Chad Gershon, van die nummer 9 van Tijgerberg, wat net die bal bykie achter sy loskakel aangegeer het en dit het toe die hele momentum verloor Jaldeberg lyk as wees soos hulle wil aanval Isa, hulle is omtrend so net by die 10 meter stippelein van hulle eie helfte en hulle stel op om die bal te hardloop lyk as of hulle gaan skopie en dit werk vir hulle so ver Michael Visser wat wacht om die bal in die skram in te sit ek denk hulle soek maar net die channel 1 bal, bal in en bal uit een van die wedstrijde waar die skram nie eindelijk werk vir een span wat domineer hulle wil net die bal in kry en die bal uit kry en Isa lyk het soos Helderberg het voordeel vir een strafskop en Isa gaan Helderberg dier die middel hulle breek dier die middel en hier gaan na hem, na hem speel om Isa na Darren toe in die middel, nummer 22 van die Helderberg, hulle is in die 22 hulle is in die 22 van Tijgerberg en daar draai Tijgerberg die bal om net een bykie geïsoleer gewees daar so in die middel, daar so by die Darren en is Tijgerberg sy manne wat goed teruggeval het goed teruggescramble om hulle self net weer in die posiesie te sit om hulle lijne weg van hulle lijne af te kom uitstekende verdediging Roberts, die kaptein, met sy linkervoet skop om hier uit in die kantlijn hierdie wedstrijd het hulle bykie van alles gehad al van al by spanne wat wees hulle kan van eerste vaas af af punte aanteken meer so Tijgerberg as Jaldeberg Jaldeberg wat wees dat hulle kan van van foute van Tijgerberg af punte aan teken, hier staat die Helderberg nou weer die bal gewen, maar het lijkt asof een aanslaan is van die Helderberg af van die lijn staan af, en dit gaan een skram wees aan Tijgerberg op hulle eie 10 tree lijn Nog een skram hier wat opgestel is. Tegenberg, bal is beskikbaar. Hulle speel om Isa af na Helderberg in die helft toe in die 22. En dit is Helderberg wat om wat om hier uit hulle eie 22 uit wil hardloop, lyk het is. En ek het soos ek gesê het in die begin, het lyk hier as of hulle wil skop, hulle wil om hier hardloop uit hulle eie helft uit. En dis JD, die nummer 6 van die Helderberg, wat een goeie loopie hier sal opzit. 
Ja, da ben ik wat nou weer met die voer, voer in mannen hier op die bal opzet. Weer, Dani, die nummer twee van die Alderberg. En die middenveld. En dit is een strafskop aan die Alderberg. Tegenberg wordt van de voeten af, en die bal ook speelt van de voeten af. En ik denk die Alderberg zal zeker die bal wel de starige beetje maken. Het is een beetje asem skip. Want op die oomlik lijkt het alsof hulle... Alsof hulle die game een beetje chase op die oomlik. Hulle jaag een beetje naar die game. Tegenberg wat die spoed van hierdie wedstrijd bepaal en is Jaldeberg wat een beetje aanhang nou. Maar dit is Darren wat die bal hier afskop na by die 22 van Tegenberg en dit skep een geleentheid hier weer eens vir Jaldeberg met 20 minuut om te gaan. Jaldeberg sal lekker om punten aan te teken en Tegenberg maar keer nog een drie of punten om hulle self terug in die wedstrijd te breng. Back here with play with Helderberg on the attack. Excellent take by Bender. Excellent setup. More setup by Helderberg. Getting closer to the 22 of Tigerberg. Going sideways a little bit, but then again getting the momentum going forward. Breakaway by Helderberg. Can they secure their own ball? Ball's available. Taken up right through the middle by Helderberg. Tigerberg. Just not enough players behind the ruck. Alderberg sets it up again. Naeem through the middle. Again, forwards taking it up. Gordy puts it up. Excellent ball. Fisser. Alderberg loses the ball forward. Michael Fisser loses it forward after excellent defense by Tigerberg. We have to commend both teams. As much as teams are creating opportunities, there's been excellent defense as well by both sides, especially on the scramble defense. You get opportunity, you still have to capitalize, but if you come into good defense, especially after you break the line and teams are willing to get back, they're willing to chase back, makes it very difficult. And this has been one of those games where both teams has really scrambled well. The points, yes, the points has been scored, but there could have been so much more damage done if everybody just allowed the the line breaks and allow the points to be scored giving themselves opportunity to get back giving themselves the belief that they can get back and still defend we have another scrum inside the 22 of Tigerberg looking to clear their lines looking to get a good exit good scrum excellent scrum excellent scrum unfortunately there was hands in the breakdown or hands in the scrum Michael Fisser tries to quickly tap it but it seems like he was brought back. And it's a penalty. You can't play with your hands there. Nine, second side. Penalty to Haldeberg. There was a feed in the scrum, but then because the ball didn't go or got hooked, it seems like there was hands in, and that's what the penalty is for. Haldeberg showing a lot of confidence here going for the scrum. Right in front of the poles, a penalty and then choosing the scrum. This is one of those opportunities that if you don't score, then it's a missed chance for three points minimum. We've got to have a first, first things first here is good scrum. First things first is to get the ball in and out before you can create any other opportunity. All the work, good set. Michael Fisser feeds the ball. Good scrum. Yes, ball comes out to the right. Alderberg goes. Darren plays it up. Michael Fisser again to the inside. Plays it 
to Quinn Fisser. Quinn sets it up. Good set. But a little bit loose again, but it looks like Tigerberg has got good defense. And they turn the ball over once again. Just isolated again. Alderberg getting caught with the same kind of tick every single time. Trying to take the ball up. They just isolated. And the Tigerberg guys is showing that they're getting their numbers there before the Alderberg guys and then turning the ball over. Captain of Tigerberg drives it deep. Excellent kick. Fantastic kick. We have now gone from Tigerberg being on the defense to them being the in, on the offense. Driving themselves deep into the half of Alderberg. This could have been easily points for Alderberg and now they're on the back foot trying to defend their own lines. Daniel Roberts, the captain of Tigerberg, really showing excellent leadership. You know, keeping the guys motivated. Kicking, keeping them in the game. And that left foot of his has been monstrous today. Stolen again by Alderberg. Back and forth we go. Alderberg looking to clear their lines. Michael Fisser. Plays it to Cordy. Excellent carry. Excellent carry by Alderberg. Michael Fisser to the inside. To Naeem. Back and forth. Needs to set it up. Michael Fisser again. Forwards. Drives it up the middle. On the halfway line. Alderberg. Tristan. Turnover. Tigerberg. Bollocking run through the middle. Turnover again. Here comes Alderberg. Trying to run it off the own half. To the inside. Alderberg trying to set up a phase. Excellent. Excellent phase set up by Alderberg. On the halfway line again. Back and forth. I cannot say it enough. This is such a back and forth match. Fisser on the right hand side. Breaks the line. Fisser through the middle. Chip and chase. Can Fisser collect it again? Excellent take by Tigerberg on their 22. Jody Cole comes through with the ball. Show and go by Halderberg. Still got possession. Michael Fisser on the inside. Michael Fisser through the middle. Under the balls. Michael Fisser for Halderberg to score. What an opportunist try. There's been so many turnovers in this game. We've had from the one way to the other, from the 122 to the other, and again, Alderberg comes away with points. I think that has been an important part of today. Is the times that they've had that opportunity from the back and forth, they've actually come away with maximum points. Again, Michael Fisser, not this time, this time with a conversion, but he's actually scored the try as well. Conversion to come can make it a full seven. Quinn Fisser being substituted. Conversion is good. 38 points to 22. 13 minutes left. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like the momentum has swung again. Whatever way you think it has swung, it probably has. Whether you're supporting Tigerberg or whether you support Halderberg, you would feel that the momentum is with your team right now. It's been that kind of game. It's just the finishing that has been better by one team. I think that also spells a lot about Tigerberg's season. They've had so many opportunities against big teams. So many opportunities against teams that's higher on the log than them. But it's just the finishing. And that will come as long as you create opportunity and you can you learn how to start finishing those opportunities. You'll eventually win the big games as well. At the moment, Alderberg just is showing a bit more composure when it comes to those opportunities and here they come again out of their own half Alderberg on the attack Fisser to Darren to the midfield takes the ball up excellent setup Fisser down to his forwards again excellent line the forwards showing some grit here the forwards really showing some good impetus Kewen substitute on 
Bokbasa. Looks like Tiger Book's turned the ball over. Tiger Book has turned it over. Excellent turnover again. Here we go again. Back and forth. Tiger Book on the attack. They really need to score now. The game's getting away from them. Time is running out. Excellent tackle in the midfield by Alderberg. And he knocks the ball on. Jody Cole on the attack from the turnover. JD through the middle. Alderberg looks like they have found another gear right now. Oh, unfortunately, a knock on by Alderberg after the advantage has been taken. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been one of those games where you just, after two or three breakdowns, the next team takes the ball. It's like they're each giving each other a chance, saying, yeah, you have it, you have a go. And then they take it back and say, okay, now it's my chance. Got to love it, though. Super League A Rugby at its best. Tiger Big Scrum in the middle of the field in their own half still I doubt they're looking to clear their lines I think they're looking for opportunity breaks to the left excellent tackle by Skulk Berger that dislodges the ball and it's a knock on by Tiger Berg. fantastic defense and that has gotten the crowd on its feet who doesn't love a big hit who doesn't love these guys just physically having a full go at each other? This is why we love this game so much. Is that you can legally smash each other and get up and give him that look of, I got your number, which is just what happened. And we got a scrum to Halderberg. Again, in Tigerberg half, looking to take advantage of an opportunity that has presented itself again. Not looking to turn the ball over. Let's see what they can do. Scrums has been much better later in the second half. Better sets. Better clean ball in and out. Can we have another one? Michael Fisser to feed. Good scrum. Ball, ball available. Penalty to Halderberg. Tigerberg wheeling the scrum illegally. And Halderberg has an opportunity to really set up a good phase deep in the 22 year of Tigerberg. Number 22 of Halderberg. Darren will set it up. Oh, that's a fantastic kick. That is an excellent kick. Drives at five meters from Tigerberg's try line for another opportunity to set up a driving wall. I'm assuming it's a driving wall. I just don't see why you would play from the top five meters from the line, but you never know. In this game, you've had a little bit of everything. So let's see if my assumption is right. Alderberg looking to set up a driving wall. Excellent take. Sets it up in the front. Driving Moller is. Driving Moller is like two meters from the trial line. Looking to get it up. Breakdown set up. Turnover ball. More collapsed by, by Halderberg themselves. Unfortunate. It looked good for a while. But again, good defense. Cannot say it enough. Good defense by Tigerberg. They've really, really kept themselves in the fight. By scrambling, by working hard to get back and putting themselves in a position to turn the ball over we got an injury on a Tiger Book player uh, it's just a, it seems like it's just a boot that he's trying to fix and while we're trying to fix the boot we just want to say again once again on Club Rugby Live if it wasn't for people like on spec property maintenance see you live that brings you th this kind of footage not just showcasing 
rugby, but showcasing community rugby, showcasing our local talent. Everybody that's looking for the opportunity, thinking that they need to play at the higher levels to be seen. Here we have an opportunity with CU Live and Onspec Property Maintenance to bring these kind of matches to your home, not just locally, but internationally. These games being streamed live is fantastic for our players. It's, a, it's fantastic for our officials as well. We have a guy like AJ Jacobs refing this game, who's probably in the top three or four in the country at the moment, and he's also on the World 7 circuit, showing that he's giving back to the community by coming to ref club rugby. And we just want to thank those sponsors for your contributions and your input as Tigerberg is trying to exit out of the 22. Chip and chase to the left hand side. Excellent kick. Excellent take by Tigerberg. Being creative again out of the 22. Keeping possession and maintaining it. Turnover ball. Slight knock on by Tigerberg. And again, such creativity. Just hampered by a little bit of handling error. But like I said, just again to our sponsors, fantastic. We thank you so much. We thank you guys for creating this opportunity for our players. We thank you for creating this opportunity for our officials. And we thank you for bringing the games to our homes from all devices. Whether you're on your laptop, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on your computer, or wherever you are in the world even. We thank you for joining us. And thank you for supporting local club rugby. These are our future players. This is our homegrown talent. And we need to boost these guys. We need to create this kind of opportunity. Thank you. We've got about five minutes left of this game. Can Tigerberg bring themselves back into it? Or can Halderberg hang on? Thank you, everybody, for the live chat. Keeps bringing on the live chat as well. Put in your comments. Shout for your team. Michael Fisser down the back line. Loose pass. Boki, Carstens sets it up in the middle. Scrappy again. Tigerberg making it really scrappy and then turning the ball over. Alderberg not looking after their own ball. Tigerberg. This is what they need. They need to score now. This is the opportunity. Going down the left-hand touchline. Kicks the ball away, though. That is not what they needed. Turns the ball back over to Halderberg. They need to keep possession of the ball. Halderberg. Set up in the middle. Good carry. Good carry. Michael Fisser to the right-hand side. Bender. Plays it to the blind side. Back to the inside by Jody Cole. Plays it again. Here comes the open side. Long pass to Kewen. Kewen breaks the first tackle. Breaks the second tackle. Kewen down the middle. Can he put on some wheels? Plays it. Knock on by Ulvain. Stepped out by Tigerberg, but it will be a, a scrum to Tigerberg on the halfway line. I'm even out of breath. Just the amount of turnovers and the amount of running that has gone on. It's the no fear kind of rugby where you expect an exit, you expect teams to kick the ball and these two teams have shown that you can actually run the ball out of your own 22 to clear your lines. It's a little bit risky but you know what, if it comes off, it pays off. Scrums has been better like I said, better sets, better ball in and ball out. Both teams complying now, AJ has really really gotten good player behaviour to change. And also, well done to AJ for his first Western Province Super League A game. Welcome to Cape Town, AJ. What a match to referee. And what a match to, to start it all off on. We wish him everything of the best. And we wish him only good things in Cape Town. As he's handled this game very well. Tigerberg on the attack. Excellent defense by Halderberg in the midfield. Can they turn the ball back over? Yes, they can. Ball turned over. Jody Cole on the touchline. Jandre, Lucas on the inside. Into the 22 of Tigerberg they go. Turnover ball again. How many times have you heard me say that? Quick tap by Tigerberg. Through the middle. 
onto the 10 meter line. Tigerberg goes, carrying the ball up to the 10 meter line. Ball comes down the touch line, down the back line. Tigerberg on the attack. Number four of Tigerberg sets it up in the five meter line. Penalty to Tigerberg. Not coming through the gate by Bucky Carstens. Tigerberg, quick tap. Have to. They have to quick tap. They have to score right now for any chance to be back in this game. Set up in the midfield by Tigerberg. Alderberg making it scrappy again. Looks like it's a turnover. Alderberg turns the ball over on the halfway line. If they play this ball wide onto the right, this is opportunity. Pick and go by the forwards. They have to play the ball to the wider channels. Michael Fisser, Bender, down to Tristan, plays it to Inza, Michael Fisser, plays it to Darren, and this looks like it's going to be Darren in the corner. Darren scores for Alderberg to seal the deal on their Super League A clash game versus Alderberg versus Tigerberg. Fantastic. What a finish. What skills shown by not just the backline players, but the forward players as well. Fantastic finish. And that just puts the cherry on the cake for this match. What a game. Turnover to turnover to turnover. And again, Tigerberg showing that they finish it at the end. Capitalizing on the opportunities. Kick to come, but this game is done and dusted. Alderberg will win. Valiant effort by Tigerberg. Fantastic. They've really done well to create this, the kind of opportunities they did. It was just not their day on the finishing part of things. It's always that last pass, that last little momentum, that, that final touches, the small adjustments they need to do. But after Halderberg's loss against Hamilton's last week, which they felt that they should have done better in, they have, they have shown this week why they are not just here to compete, they are here to really give this league a full go. Conversion to come. And the conversion is good. 45 points to 22. And that's the game. AJ Jacob blows the game off. Once again, thank you to everybody for tuning in, for streaming from wherever in the world you are. Fantastic game so far. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this match as much as we did. Thank you to, to Onspec Property Maintenance. Thank you to See You Live. Thank you to Charles Merkel and Halderberg for hosting this game. And thank you to everybody for showing your support and for backing our boys from the community. From wherever you are, get home safely, enjoy the rest of the weekend, and God bless.